Will the drought contingency plan be enough to save Lake Mead? Maybe. Lake Mead is disappearing. It has already fallen more than 146 feet since 2000. Last week the Bureau of Reclamation forecast that it will likely drop another 42 feet in the next five years, drawing the lake surface down to a level barely sufficient to generate power and release water for downstream water users in California and Arizona. To manage this decline and stabilize the lake is not rocket science. Cities and farms are simply taking more water out of Lake Mead than is coming in from the Colorado River. The lake is like a bank account, on average, you can only take out as much as is being deposited by the Colorado River. When the current drought began in 2000, the three lower basin states that take water from the lake, Arizona, California and Nevada, suddenly awakened to the problem. After several years of difficult negotiations, they agreed on a drought contingency plan, DCP, that, with previously agreed cuts, would bring the lake into balance. Hoping the drought would lift before too long, the DCP negotiators agreed to spread the cuts over coming years in response to changing lake levels. However, as the drought continues and intensifies, the drought contingency plan is looking more like a drought certainty plan. It now appears that the full schedule of DCP reductions will be needed to bring the lake into balance at approximately 1,025 feet of elevation. The next reduction begins in 2022, a further cut is likely in 2023 with even deeper remaining cuts likely to occur by 2026, the year in which the current DCP will expire. By that time the states that share the Colorado River must reach a new agreement. Their first task will be to decide whether still more reductions beyond the present DCP will be necessary in a new DCP+. It will be a close call, for the existing DCP schedule may be enough to bring the lake into balance, albeit at a very low level. The negotiators will then face a newly emerging problem, the threat that the Colorado River might run so low, there will not be enough inflow to stabilize the lake, even with the full agenda of DCP reductions.